Hi Gemini, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of April 3rd, 2017. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're looking for a personal reading, please contact me on my website at www.ms-swami.com and you'll find a link to that below this video. Also, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Gemini, I will be honest with you. This is a week of scattered energy around you guys. And I'm going to use the word bajiggity here. It's just, it's kind of, anxiety is building in you guys this week. And yes, we are having a thunderstorm in case you heard that. Um, know your abilities this week. Don't overextend yourself. Don't be scared to tell someone close no. Uh, it does show you that you get what you want when you do that. So it actually works out better than what you realize. Um, a lot of decisions coming up in regards to your finances. So let's take a look. This is for Gemini for the week of April 3rd, 2017. Gemini, we start with the major arcana of the world, followed by a major arcana of the high priestess, the four of swords, the uh, four of pentacles, I'm sorry, the ten of pentacles, the seven of wands, and the magician. Look at the energy around you guys. Okay, the world indicating, you know, pretty much when it falls within high priestess, the world is your oyster. Anything you want to do, like I said, I do see a lot of decisions coming up for Gemini. It does show that you're on the right path. It does show that you're going to make those correct decisions. Um, but what I'm really seeing with this high priestess in Gemini, clarity. The moment of truth. You know the answer, okay? Guys, really, really tap into your intuitive side this week. That is your gut feeling. Trust it. Move forward with it. That Four of Pentacles is what I spoke about is decisions regarding your finances. This could be investments. This could be making personal loans. It just shows that you're taking the time to make these decisions and that you're not going to be pushed into these decisions, which is actually to your benefit. Moving forward, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Guys, this is money. This is strong in your financial sector for this week. The Seven of Wands. You guys have still got some, I'm not going to say problems, but you've got some obstacles around you and you're taking them out at one at a time. Please remember this is a general video for all of you, but for a lot of you, I'm looking at family members, maybe shutting them down. You don't need the nonsense right now and moving forward with that. <clears throat> Be sad that we have the magician and those familiar with the tarot know this is the highest card in the deck. This is, I think I said in the beginning of the video that you will get what you want. Definitely reflected here in the magician. As you can see, everything you want Everything you need is right there on the table in front of you. So a win-win for Gemini this week. Looking at the Ten of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Now let's get back to this financial issue that we're talking about. The finances, you're making sound decisions, okay? But guys, the Three of Pentacles, don't worry yourself to death. Like I said, tap into that gut feeling and the, and the answer will come. Ten of Cups showing happiness on the home front. Everything is going well there. And then we have that King of Swords. And what I want to advise with this, with the financial situation, this could be a male or a female, but someone definitely with a sharp tongue with you this week. So demanding is not going to work for you guys this week, Gemini. You're taking authority on this. So for your week, fantastic. The world is your oyster. There's you making sound judgment with the high priestess. And then, of course, the magician to indicate you get everything you want. So, great week, Gemini. Thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you again in a few days. Bye.